are you working on? Seesaw! That's awesome. I've been working on Seesaw and I need to leave comments, but I don't know how. Can you help me? Yeah. 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 Do you remember what Mrs. Hunter taught us? She taught us about constructive criticism. Have you ever seen a person who is trying to do something and isn't doing it right? You know, you want to help them by telling them what they're doing wrong and how to fix it. And then you do that, that's giving constructive criticism. It's not to be mean or not helpful or hurtful. It's to help them improve. Criticism is being mean. Constructive criticism is helpful to others. You give constructive criticism We give it because we want to tell people how they made a mistake in a nice way that doesn't hurt their feelings and brightens their day. Because if you just criticize them, they're not getting any better. You're just making them feel bad. We also give some constructive criticism to the little girl. If you see someone has lots of incorrect spelling and you want to help them fix it, you tell them nicely. How do you tell them nicely? You don't just go up to them and say, hey, your spelling is horrible, and walk away. That will hurt their feelings. Tell them a few compliments and say, hey, I noticed you didn't try so hard on your spelling. Maybe you could try a little harder next time. Would you like me to help you? That'd be great. Or maybe using a compliment sandwich. A compliment sandwich is when you give a compliment, then a question or a constructive criticism, and then the last thing you do is give another compliment. If you compliment someone but then use constructive criticism, they feel more help. And then they get it and you compliment them, they will work even harder at it and get better at that topic.